we should not have to fish in a river that's essentially the toilet for state lawmakers. Well, that environmental advocate says water pollution into the Susquehanna River has been brushed off for far too long. Every time Harrisburg sees significant rainfall, the city's aging combined sewer system overflows, forcing millions of gallons of sewage into the river. Fox 43's Rachel Young Kunis reveals what it will take to fix the decades old problem. Last year, nearly 600 million gallons of untreated sewage were dumped into the Susquehanna River. In 2019, close to a billion. Fox 43 reveals why it's taking so long to stop this pollution and what's now being done about it. Beautiful sights along the Susquehanna River, but beneath the surface is a different view. Lower Susquehanna River keeper Ted Eugenitis has seen the worst of it. You can see scum, you can see dead fish, dead macroinvertebrates, and toilet paper and, and feces. Every year, hundreds of millions of gallons of sewage are dumped into the river. That's because the city's decaying combined sewer and stormwater system overflows whenever there is heavy rainfall. And when people hear about untreated sewage being dumped in this river, the amount that is being dumped in the river, they wonder, how is that legal? It's not. It's not. It's a direct violation of the Clean Water Act, a direct violation of the Pennsylvania Clean Streams Law. In 2015, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and State Department of Environmental Protection signed a consent decree with Capital Region Water and the city to end this decades-old problem. Six years later, not much has changed. The agency responsible for stopping this, the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, they're flushing their own toilets right into the river and they're not even stopping their own waste. This issue has been going on for years. The EPA knows about it, the state knows about it. So why hasn't this been stopped? It all comes down to money. And Capital Region Water can't fix this problem alone. They will never be able to charge the ratepayers and the residents of Harrisburg enough money to fix this problem. So who's going to fix it? In the background, Harrisburg city leaders are working against the clock to figure out the money problem. Council is in the final stages of approving our comprehensive plan. It talks a lot about infrastructure and stormwater maintenance. City Council is also looking at allocating funds from the American Rescue Plan to sewer maintenance. But even all $46 million wouldn't fix the issue. Candidly, we know, especially from the inclement weather we got over the summer, that um, more extreme weather is uh, on the horizon. Uh, it's here and we, we have to adapt uh, much faster than we initially thought to getting this done. And there's a lot at risk. More fish are getting sick and dying. The river is also a drinking water source for millions of people. We're heading downstream, I mean, is all of that sewage also heading downstream and where is that ending up? Uh, absolutely, so we've taken some samples down in Steelton and we have seen elevated bacteria levels down there. What is the long-term impact? I mean, you're looking at health issues, you're gonna see more people getting sick, you're gonna see more sick fish. This river is our life. And there are many people who rely on this river for many things. The Lower Susquehanna Riverkeeper Association is monitoring E. coli bacteria in the river. They say levels are so high, their lab can't even register them. City Council expects to put out their comprehensive plan by the end of the month. The state DEP declined to comment on this issue due to the ongoing lawsuits. Fox 43 reveals issues that affect you and your family to keep you informed. Do you have a story you want us to investigate? Send me an email at fox43reveals at fox43.com.